You get into these positions to where the feds came and knocked at my door because they were wondering why everything was in my husband's name and all the money was being run through his accounts. And it's like, you put me in a box, bro. And now you're pissed because I'm operating the box. So now, you know, that was a two and a half year IRS investigation that I had to go through and spend. I don't even want to tell you how much money just to survive the audit that I was, you know, they, they ended up finding I actually overpaid and had to send me a check back for just fucked, right? But I mean, they sent agents to my house to question me for two hours about this entire thing. And it's like, they were pissed because I was operating the box, but I'm just trying to follow the rules, bro. Like, I won't I won't lie, they subpoena me for my I know they do, you. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. Everybody got subpoenas, I got, yes, <laughs> I know. That's not, yes. I didn't know what was going on, yes. but that's, that makes sense. Yeah, fuck, <laughs> yeah. I know. God. And that's how I knew is because people I was friends with and I was working for were like, listen, bitch, you got subpoenas out everywhere. And I was like, oh, really? That's weird. And then I get off the plane and my brother's like, the feds are out the door. So I have to like drive home and have this interview with these two federal agents who go through my last seven years of all of my income wondering, why is your house in your husband's name, but it's all your money? And I'm like, you guys did this. Like, I'm just trying to live, bro. 